Hello, today I'm going to demonstrate for you how to create the Iggy's Ice Cream Letterhead. Here's our project over here on the left the, with the instructions. And then I'm going to show you what the finished project is going to look like and demonstrate it for you over here on the right side. So for this letterhead, you are going to use Google Docs and you're going to create a new document in your class folder. And so what I did here is I just went to File, New, and Document. Uh, what I'm supposed to name it is first, last name, first name, Iggy Ice Letterhead. So I will do Carpenter Christina Iggy Ice Letterhead. This folder right here, I can click on that, and while I want to move it to my drive, I it's in my drive, I can move it to other places, like my tech apps folder. So I can click there and move it there. Now, uh, the orientation is at portrait. To make sure to check that, you would go to Page Setup. And this is also where we change our margins. Our margins need to be at 2 inches at the top, 1 inch at the bottom, and 1 inch on either side, left and right. To change our font, we're going to go to Make sure it's Arial and 11 points. Now in the header of the document, we need to insert the Iggy's Ice Cream logo. And I can actually click on this. And it will take me to the logo. And all I have to do is download it or I can actually get the link. And we can try it that way. So we're going to go to view, actually no, we're going to go to insert and header, okay, within the header, we're going to go to insert and image, you can try by URL, oh, there it goes, so that way you don't have to download it. And now I can go back to our instructions. It says in the footer of the document, key the contact information for the business. 3631 Broad Street, Mansfield, Texas, and the phone number and the email and website. So, if you go to insert and footer, I'll need to make sure and insert a paragraph before that. And... Now this line key is actually right above your return or enter button and you'll have to press shift and click on it and that's how you get the line. Then I'm going to go to the next line. I'm going to type in email sales at iggiesicecream.com. Another line, website, iggiesicecream.com. And I would actually say this is too large for your letterhead. So we need to change this to like 10 or 9. Let's change it to 9 and I will make sure and go back and change that in the instructions. Um, formatting. Okay, so you're going to center align the Iggy's Ice Cream logo and resize it to 125 by 125. So I need to go back up here and I need to make sure it's centered on the page and resize it. Now, I 
I can go here to image options. That's not going to work correctly. I don't want to crop the image, but you can measure how big it is up here. So we want it to be a full inch and then 25, a quarter of an inch after that. So it's significantly smaller than what it was before. So it doesn't take up near as much space as what we had. Now, and I'll say, carefully proofread your work for any accurate. Okay, switch to the footer of the document and above the text, insert a 6.5 inch horizontal black line with a 1.5 inch weight. So we need to come down here and go to insert and a horizontal line. And we'll just leave it as a horizontal line as it is. So center align the text in the footer. So what we need to do is select our text and our horizontal line. We are going to go to more and center. And we'll make sure the file is saved and at this point it is. You can fit the image, oops, to the screen or zoom out to where it's, you can see the whole thing. So this is what our finished letterhead should look like. And when you're done, you can go grab the share link, copy that, and turn it into the turn-in box. And that is all.